Hi guys, welcome to part two of this workshop renovation, rebuild, revamp, put back together, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I hope you came up with birds tweeting, there's no fascia boards on the minute, so all birds seem to be gathering round. Uh, other than that, I've got all the roofing sheets on. Uh, we've just started concreting, which will probably be in next, week, next week's video, and uh, we're a bit of luck. Uh, so, I'll show you how I've gone, hope you enjoy. So this is what we started with, it's uh, bitumen corrugated sheeting. I don't think it's designed for this type of roof, I think it should be on a flat roof. Uh, it's been on about 15 years, as you can see it's a bit of a mess. Now the main door on the old original workshop used to be at an angle, so that's the reason why I've put the little extension on to square the front edge up. Now fortunately for me, the joists are still in pretty good condition. Uh, but as for the roofing sheets, they just started to fall inside. As soon as I pulled one off, it just fell inside the workshop. Uh, it made a bit of a mess. I still had to remove all the joists uh, because they were sat flush with the top of the wall and the original bitumen sheets used to sit over the top of the wall which left a gap. And if you look at the top of the wall you can see where the grooves have been, uh, where the joists sat in. Uh, those grooves are going to be dropped down by about a foot I think. Well you've just seen all the roof down, I'm waiting for uh, new roofing sheets to turn up now. And I can put the joists back in and I'll lower them down a little bit. That's why I took the joists out. They were sat too, too high up. Now I want to make this door wider. So I'm going to take this pillar down. Build a new pillar up there. Brick that window up. So I've got a wider door. Uh, although I ain't got much mojo today. But uh, we'll keep trucking on. So once I got the wall down, I got the endless task of cleaning them up, uh, so I could relay them. And I forgot to film when I'd done all the brickwork, uh, so I've only got the image of when the roof was on. I've got the wall plate sat on the wall and I uh, put an RSJ across the door. That should give plenty of support, I think. Now you can see that all right, because it's going dark. Uh, but I've notched out here to slot the joists in. That way I can build above the section there. Before I put all the joists back in, I soak the ends in no engine oil uh, just to give them a chance. So that was half of the workshop done, the joists back in, uh, ready for the roofing sheets. Uh, then I come across another problem, uh, one of the walls further up uh, was leaning, well actually sinking. Uh, when we took it down we found out there were no footings underneath it. It didn't really show you on camera uh, just how far it had sunk, uh, but it seemed to have gone down by about a good 8 inches I'd say. Uh, and I didn't know what the situation were, so I thought it'd be best to take it down and uh, find out exactly what was going off and rebuild it. But that then led to another problem. Uh, we've got an RSJ in there, what we used to use for taking engines out years ago. It's like a T section, uh, and that needed to be supported before we could take the wall down, obviously. Go 
you want it? Yeah, uh, with a little bolt. That's going to look scarily easy. <laughs> Just push it bit out of way. So then I cleaned all the weeds and the ivy away uh, already so we can uh, rip the wall down. It's a shame that uh, there was no footings under the wall because the cement that I was holding the bricks together was absolutely rock solid. But once we got the wall down, uh, we dug out and uh, laid the new footings. Now from this point, uh, I lost a bit of footage, uh, so it sort of jumps onto going onto the roof, but I laid some underlay under the roofing sheets, uh, then put some battens down, ready for laying the uh, steel sheets. For the battens I'm using 3x2 CLS timber uh, and I've spaced them roughly 18 inch centres. It was hard work on the knees, uh, I should have worn some knee pads really. This next image is uh, an image where I've got three quarts of the workshop roof covered and uh, waiting for the sheets. I bought the more heavy duty roofing sheets, the, I think they're 0.7 millimeter thick and they're uh, 3 meters by a meter and they're really easy to fit. You just put some a bead of silicon down each joint and then just screw them down with self drilling screws. It's been a lot of work to get to this stage, but I think it's been worth it. It uh, definitely looks a lot better than what we started with. Uh, a lot stronger as well. Uh, I've still got the ends to trim up yet. Uh, and put the fascia boards on and the gutter in. I've also got to figure out some airflow uh, against the back wall before I put the flashing on. Uh, but that'll all be coming shortly. Uh, but that's about it for this one. Uh, I've started laying the concrete inside, which I'll, uh, I'll be showing you next week. I'm guesstimating it's going to take me about another three weekends to get it watertight and a floor down so it's usable. Uh, just keeping my fingers crossed. But that's it for this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.